Thanks for checking out GuardiansoftheGreenBray.com. Today we present Sandy Sturgeon. We had him a couple years ago, but we were having a hard time finding him in our pay-to-play programs to request records. We saw where he relocated and contacted one of the people that commented on his Facebook page and they told us he was a Canadian. So now it makes sense why we couldn't get his social security number to request records. So we reached out to him and he admits that he never served in the US military. The first phone call was rather quick and he was adamant that he never claimed to be special forces and there was nothing there. And the next day we circled back around to him and we had a much more in depth phone call and he tried to blame it on some motorcycle clubs after him and he had to move from city to city and stuff it's all pretty much bullshit he still said he didn't claim special forces then he said he only claimed it once and then he mentions two times where he claimed it so he was all over the board uh, we have a number of emails from canadians that heard him claim special forces sniper and americans in two different cities so here's the two phone calls the first one's about two minutes and 20 seconds and the second one's about 16 minutes hello hey press one to send a voicemail press two sandy hello yes sir we're going to be doing a article on you and wanted some feedback about your military service What's this article for? This uh, is weird. Yeah, I work for Guardians of the Green Beret, and we've, nope. had, we've had multiple... There's nothing. Well, we're going to expose you as a fraud on our website. We have multiple people... There's nothing. You have that uh, V-42 stiletto and three lightning bolts tattooed on your arm. That's a uh, Special Forces tattoo. Well, you, it's actually something my kid designed years ago. I kind of had some fun with that, but yeah, that was something my kid designed. After my wife and I got divorced. Well, yeah, what about the uh, E5 stripes on your arm? You never served in the U.S. military. No, I didn't. Yeah, well, you never you never served I'm in the... I'm not even going to claim that. Well, then why do you wear a Special Forces tab on your Honor Guard costume? That stuff's all gone, and that was for representation of another friend of mine from years ago, and I made that clear as well. Okay, what about the four or five emails we have from people that said you've claimed Special Forces Sniper and uh, your teeth shot out by a uh, round, and that's why you wear false teeth? Okay, that one's a new one. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there, so, I mean, I'm not claiming not doing nothing, so, no. Well, we're, we're going to go ahead and move, we're going to go ahead and move forward with exposing you as a fraud, and I'll send you a link to the article when it's through. Well, that's fine, um, but yeah, no, I'm not claiming it. I am not. Well, we know you're not. You never served in the military, and... <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, well, and we'll add that to the article, too. Uh, th thanks for admitting it, and uh, we'd appreciate it if you yeah. quit pretending to be one of us. Now, here's the second phone call we had with him the next day. After you listen to it, you could go to our website, guardiansofthegreenbray.com, and see all the emails. That those Hello? Yeah, is this Sandy? Yes, it is. Yeah, go ahead. Hang on. Just let me get up off the ground here. So, to be honest with you, I, I thought it was a scam phone call to start off with. I mean, I've been getting those, you know, those insurance things and the social insurance things and whatnot. And, yeah, so, so you said emails and whatnot. I'm, I mean, I'm scrambling here. Yeah. I really am. I'm not trying to be smart. I'm not trying to be a prick. Went through a pretty messy divorce here a few months ago. When did you get that tattoo after you divorced? Uh, no. Before? I was still with then. 
Yeah, well, see. Hang on. Hold on, hold on. Nope, nope, nope. I just lied. I just lied. Yeah. And I had already split up, and I got it after that. Yeah. So my little boys at that time, they always said, I always called them my soldiers. And I went into a tattoo shop in Calgary one day because my one son, he drew something out. I mean, imagine what a five-year-old can draw. And I said, you know, I want something like this for my boys. And I even got the J on there for because I thought we might have had a chance of getting back together. Uh, the boys' names are in there. It's their birthdays and their names. And I just did it for my kids. Yeah. You know that's pretty much a Special Forces tattoo. That's a V-40. I do now. Well, you, you knew it. It was just a piece of flash. Well, I'm sorry? All right, we'll, we'll agree to disagree on that. What about the sergeant stripes? That's the three boys. So when I went into that tattoo shop in Calgary, I explained to the guy what I was looking for. And I kind of showed him the drawing that my kid did. And he came up with this. Yeah. Works for me. Have you ever heard, what is that called? The Blue Moon Bar and Grill? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of free drinks there for being a veteran, didn't you? Nope, I didn't. I always made sure it was paid back. Always. But they, I looked at what... I'm sorry? But they gave it to you because you were a veteran, correct? Always paid. Yeah, but... I always but, got the money back on the table. Always. I never took it. I never took anything. Ever. Because we... I read what the thing... I'm sorry? We've talked to a number of people. You were actually in a veteran group there, weren't you? Sure was. Yeah, and you're not a veteran. I know I'm not. Yeah, we've talked to people in Canada. We've talked to people in uh, Hot Lava Springs. We've talked to many people that have heard you claim that you are a Special Forces sniper. Ben, I've got to ask you this. Uh, Have you heard of Wolf? What does the name have to do with what we're talking about now? Well, I will tell you. So his brother Dave, uh, Wolf. Yeah, that got scary. That got fucking scary. Um, look, man, I'm not trying to bullshit anybody. When we left Idaho, I thought all of that shit was fucking behind me. And I mean, then some. It was not. <sighs> I'm shaking, man. That was not a good situation there at all. And I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. Yeah. Um, what we have... Can I have... What, what I know... Can beyond, I see... Okay, yep. Go ahead and, and finish. I, I'm pretty good at interrupting. Oh, no, hey. That's just fine. I mean, now that I know who you are and whatnot, of course. I mean, I absolutely respect it. I mean, it's working full on. I literally, there was a situation there, and I reported it to the cops in Pocatello, and, and it, yeah, perpetuated. Well, what I, what we know is we have people in Canada that heard you claim you were a Special Forces sniper, okay? We have people in Hot Lava Springs that have heard you claim. Yeah, lava there, and they would have seen stuff on Facebook and whatnot. I'll, I'm, you know what? Can I ask you something? Go ahead. As a gentleman, um, can I see some of the stuff that my accusers have said? It's going to be posted in our article. All um, I do, all I do, is screenshot the emails that they send in. I don't try and. Is there, oh, okay. Now is the contact name there? Nope. Nope. Okay, that's that. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Is there any way I could ask to find out who this is? No. No. We, we, okay. Sure. You have Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah, and you got to ask yourself do you believe a guy <laughs> that has a fake sergeant stripes on his arm and a fake V 42 stiletto with three lightning bolts, which, if you look at the Special Forces shoulder sleeve insignia, that's in the patch, okay? Would you believe that that guy is not claiming to be special forces because he said he wasn't? Or would you look at a 
god awful honor guard white shirt with two special forces tabs on it, jungle oh, yeah. expert badge, yeah. uh, combat infantry badge, purple heart, military free fall. Would you believe that guy's not claiming to be a Green Beret or special forces? Or would you believe those 10 or 15 people that have sent an email in that really have no dog in the fight? That say, hey, I know Sandy, and yeah, he claimed to be a Special Forces sniper. I think we right now we have six emails, and each one of those people I talk to on the phone. And I say, do you know anybody else that have heard him claim to be a Special Forces sniper? And, oh yeah, I know two or three. Yeah, well, have them email us, and put Sandy's right. name in the subject, and... I'm not going to tell them what to say, but mention anything he made claims of military related. And then when they send an email in, I call them on the phone and ask them if they know one or two others. And it goes on and on and on. Well, that's fair. That's fine. And I mean, I respect that you actually go to that due diligence. I mean, that's pretty damn cool. So the guy that, all right, you're going to say you're the real guy. So the guy, yeah. There was two instances with two biker clubs that went fucking wrong. I'm not a patch holder, never have been, never will be. And yeah, that simple goddamn little tattoo that I literally had done for my boys. And I walked from situations to just get my ass out of it. And I'll tell you what, I mean... The divorce that I just went through to show you what I'm willing to go to, I got nothing out of that. I gave everything to her. There is zero nothing that I walked away from that monetarily gained me in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted done. Well, what about that honor guard you were in? I got so a the guy who runs that, yeah, no, no, the guy who runs that, old Willie, he... He claims to be a vet as well, but wasn't. And nobody was, and I mean, Willie did work for vets and just people and everybody around there. And I like old Willie. I talked to somebody who was a retired master sergeant who knew you were... Oh, Lauren. Huh. Yeah, I know, oh, Lauren, yeah. Huh? Lauren. Lauren I, I know exactly who you're talking about. And Lauren and I, when we were bullshitting about stuff, we were talking about, all right, this, this, that, and all everything else. He answered a few questions for me to deal with that motorbike gang that was there in town. Yeah. Can I ask a favor of you? Well, you can ask yeah. anything. But okay. Well, I think I want to talk to our immigration lawyer yeah. and put everything on the line. So could I have some grace to do that? so we can respond accordingly. Can I go get something from them to give to you guys? So There's nothing they're going to give us that changes the facts. What I would like is you to just say, you know what, you got me. So tell me this, Sandy. That's why I left. What, what's that? That's why I left Idaho and why we got divorced. But I was done. But because I just don't want it. Now, weren't you in a motorcycle club up in Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Now you have to ask yourself, out of all of those guys, how many of those also heard you claim to be a Special Forces sniper? Well, the big guy, his name's Big Dog. Yep. He went down that road with me, and that's where it got fucking weird, and that's where I backed out. Yeah. The only time I did it was with the one guy that I was scared shitless gave for my wife's little dog's life. He yeah. made that very fucking clear, and also for the property that we had. Well, that and that is an absolute fact. So, so that means actually you did it twice that you're yeah. admitting to. So all those other 20 people that heard you claim to be a Special Forces sniper and those that you drank with at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill that heard you claim to be the same, but all those people are, are lying? Every one of those people are lying? No, they're not. I'm not saying that. Oh, so... I am not saying that at all. So you, I'm just saying the way you think... Oh. Uh, yeah, but so yeah, that got weird. Yeah, well, I that got weird. I think I want to talk to my lawyer on, and I mean, I'm not trying to be smart with you. Yeah, I'm just not. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I mean, I've got some credentials and whatnot behind me with the, you know, truck driving schools. Well, that that with means the nothing. Cards and everything. That that doesn't it does mean to me. 
Yeah, well, well, for me it does. Well, pretend to and be. I got pre pretend to be a truck driver. Don't pretend to be a green beret. Oh, I never did say that. Well, you ever. know, yeah, but you ever. know, you know what's funny, uh, Sandy. When you wear that Special Forces tab, you know that tab you had sewn on your shirts that said Special Forces? Yeah, I know. You know the... It's wrong. But, you know the... What's that? But I did wear that. Do you know the only people that wear that are Green Berets? Nobody else is Special so Forces. SEALs, Rangers, uh, Force Recon, CC... None of those guys are Special Forces. The only people in the U.S. military that are special forces are Green Berets. That So when you say you're a special forces sniper, you're calling yourself a Green Beret, whether you say Green Beret or not. And when you wear that special forces long tab, you're calling yourself a Green Beret. You're telling people that you graduated the special forces qualification course. So, okay, well, that's kind of interesting. So there's another name I'm going to throw out. Paul is his name. Um... He was the guy that I wore it in memory of. Um, he was... I'll be going to hell. I mean, I'm not trying to be smart. I just... I'm, I'm really not. I just... Okay, now. But yeah, I want all of this shit behind me. I well, wanted it gone when we moved to Idaho. I thought it was no, gone. But I'm just tired. Why do those people in uh, Canada say you claim to be special forces? Well, I haven't been up there in a while. But they remember you. Yeah, Sandy, he was Special Forces Sniper. On my own Facebook page, there is some shit on there where I posted stuff that I was doing and whatnot, and if that's how they took it, from what that stuff meant and whatnot, I can't help. I mean, I, I, I mean you, you got it. I mean, I just... I'm not... I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm... Confess to you, I never was. And yeah. the very first part of the but, call was but no. Can you say, you know what? Those guys did hear me say that. Through the conversations and whatnot that we had, I could say that. Yeah. And not, uh, oh, man. Right. That's what I was after. So moving forward, we're still going to have to do the article, okay? It is what it is. You can't unsay what you said. Uh, but moving forward, we're going to. Agree that you're not going to be a special forces sniper. Oh fuck! Are you kidding me? Never well, wanted it in the first place. Well, None of you, that shit. You did when you didn't. got you did when you got your tattoo and your uh, fake E5 rank. You, you should probably cover yeah, over one those was things. Literally, I could. Yeah, literally, I got that tattoo after her and I split up, and I got into the trucks. I gave her the house and everything. I bought a truck. I went for West Rim. My boys. I was missing them terribly, I'm not going to lie to you, man, and I was in Calgary, and I had that little drawing, and I just literally went to a tattoo shop in a strip mall and said, hey, here's the thing, what do you got, and he came up with that, like, literally. Google Special Forces Patch, or Special Forces Shoulder Sleeve Insignia, okay? What was the first word that you said? Special Forces what? Patch. It's oh, Patch, Patch. Yeah. P-A-T-C-H. -A. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, it'll probably come up, or Special Forces, Shoulder Sleeve Insignia, or something like that. Look at that patch, and what are the chances that some tattoo artist would randomly pick that example, or would a reasonable man think that was your decision, because you've claimed to be a Special Forces sniper over the years, from multiple people. I'm sure you've probably already seen it, because that's probably where you got the idea. Well, of course I'd seen it, but I didn't know really what it was. I mean, to be all on with you. Yeah. Well, you know what I'll say? Dude, you got me. I was claiming to be in special. I'm person. not going to dispute that. Oh, well, I'm not. All right. Well, you have a hard time letting it come out your mouth. Say, you know what? You got me. I did claim it. I won't do it again. Enough said. Trust me, I won't do it again. Here, I want nothing to do with it. I want absolutely everything about everything just behind me. It's all I wanted in the first place anyhow. Yep. Yeah, oh. no, absolutely not. Do you want me to go get this thing blocked out then? I mean, well, that one group that I dealt with up in Canada there, they had, I mean, that was... Yeah. I didn't really, oh my god, I just didn't want this shit.
Well, and I'm sorry. I mean, I to you, I am. Yeah. Everybody just no, I didn't. This is not. I just wanted to work metal, drive trucks. Yep. Well, you. you I make a little bit of a difference in some folks' lives on a good way, and this has backfired, yep. so to speak. Yep. More than I ever, ever fucking dreamed of. But no. Yeah. Well, I did not take anything. I did not take anything. I was very. I was adamant about that. There was always money on the table or whatever. I never took anything ever. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll go ahead and finish this article. I'll probably have it up in the next day or two, and uh, I'll send okay. I'll send you a link. Um. Yeah, I mean that's fair. I mean I'm gonna absolutely that's fair. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Right. I, I got no calm there whatsoever. Zero none. I mean you can have something. Deal with it. Sure. Right now, do you have my word? Oh hell yeah! You should have said that the first first phone call. And uh, we'll get the article up in the next uh, couple days. Uh, I have some more emails coming in. Each person, I probably talked to four or five people today, and each one of them okay. said I have two or three others that know. So I'm going to let this germinate for a couple of days while I wait for sure. other emails to come in. So, all right. Absolutely. Is yeah. there dates on them? Is when this stuff happens so I can go back into, like, photographic record or whatever and say, okay, here, here? Yeah. Um, well, we, we don't wrap people out. Man, right. I, yep. So, all right. Let me get off of here and uh, move on to the next. Well, with all sincerity, I hope the rest of your day goes better. I really do. No, I never do. You guys are worse than junk mail. It never stops. It's 24 7. No doubt. Yep. All right. No doubt. Yep. Out here. All right. Now, if you want to go to our website, guardiansofthegreenbray.com, you could scroll down to the article on him. Also, if you've had interactions with Sandy Sturgeon in the past and heard him claim anything military-related, whether it be special forces, sniper, uh, combat in Africa and Vietnam, or Green Bray, anything, uh, send us an email at contact at guardiansofthegreenbray.com. Your name and email address will remain anonymous. Thanks. Out.